Hello students, in the previous video we have solved a, a few problems from instantaneous center method. Using instantaneous center method we have solved uh, a few problems. In this class uh, we are going to use relative velocity method. Using relative velocity method we are going to solve uh, this problem. Comparing instantaneous center method. Uh, relative velocity method is a little bit easy at the time taken to uh, draw velocity diagram using instantaneous center method is a little bit long but in relative velocity method we can quickly solve the problem uh, but here you have to use some uh, analytical things uh, that we will see in the problem okay first let us read the question in a four bar chain mechanism a b c d <coughs> a d is fixed and is 150 mm long the crank a b is 40 mm long and rotates at 120 rpm clockwise while the link c d 80 mm oscillates about d b c and a d are of equal length find the angular velocity of the link c d angle is b angle is 60 degree so we have to find out the angular velocity of the link cd for this link for for this link for cd we have to find out the angular velocity okay. for cd we have to find out the angular velocity so in the question they have given the length of AB, AB is 40 mm and um, uh, you, you have to take uh, 16, see we, you have to draw the diagram according to the dimension. If you want to use scaling, you can use scaling. Scaling means if you want to reduce the dimension means, suppose if you are going to reduce the, reduce all the dimensions by half means you can reduce. Okay, equally you have to reduce the dimension. Suppose if you are going to dry, draw AB for 20 uh, 20 mm that is 2 centimeter means then you have to draw BC for uh, 75 mm that is 7.5 centimeter and CD for 40 mm that is 4 centimeter and AD for uh, 75 mm that is 7.5 centimeter like that you have to draw okay wa? if you want to reduce the dimension that is if you are going to scaling means you have to scale everything equally okay and uh, draw the space diagram first you have to draw the space diagram first after drawing space diagram we have to do a small calculation work. What is the calculation work means? We have to find out the velocity of the link AB. That is, uh, they, in all the problem, they will give uh, the speed. Speed of any one link they will give. Okay, particularly they will give the speed of crank. Here they have given the speed of crank. Speed of crank is 120 rpm. So, we have to find out velocity of the velocity of the crank how we can find out the velocity for that first of all we have to find out the angular velocity so angular velocity is angular velocity of a b 2 pi n by 60 so angular velocity of a b is 2 pi n by 60 2 into pi into 120 divided by 60 the answer is 12 point 568 radian per second okay we got answer is 12.568 radian per second see first of all you have to draw the space diagram then uh, we have to find out the velocity of link a b so i got angular velocity velocity equal to Velocity equal to angular velocity into link length. Angular velocity is 12.568. Link length is 40 mm. See, you have to put the original dimension, not the scaled dimension. Okay, wa? Original dimension. What is the link length of AB? 40 mm. If you want to do it in meter means, you have to put 0. 0.5. 0.4 meter 
40 mm 40 mm but uh, you have to substitute in meter so 40 mm is 0.04 meter so the answer is 0.53 meter per second okay otherwise 0.5 approximate 0.53 meter per second right we got the velocity of the uh, link ab velocity of link ab is uh, 0.5 meter per second since a is a fixed point they used to write this as vb not vab okay well, they used to write this as vb they won't write it as vab because a is a fixed point only b is movable point so they used to write vb is equal to 0.5 meter per second okay i hope uh, until this you understood the problem now we have to draw the velocity diagram now we have to draw the velocity diagram uh, in in space diagram we have written all the uh, points in capital letter okay well, in velocity diagram we have to write all the points in small letter okay we have to write all the points in small letter first mark a point mark a point okay mark a point and that point is fixed point what are the fixed points a is fixed point d is fixed point so mark a point that is fixed point a comma d okay since two points are there I write this a comma d okay a comma d after writing this take your um, draft a scale see for drawing this diagram particularly to use relative velocity method you should have a drafter scale without drafter scale you cannot draw this uh, diagram okay you should have a drafter scale okay so uh, take your drafter scale okay well, take your drafter scale and uh, um, fix it on ab fix it on ab uh, if possible take the scale take your draft scale and fix it on sorry i, I couldn't uh, use this app okay take your draft scale and fix it on ab so one scale will be on ab another one scale will be like vertically it will be like this okay actually you have to draw this 0.5 meter per second from point a okay because link a b a b link a b starts from a so this line will start from this point a but it should be perpendicular see they have drawn <coughs> perpendicular line and before drawing this diagram we have to scale it we have to scale it like this for example Wait a second. So scale. It's a scale for velocity diagram, not for space diagram. Okay. It's a scale for velocity diagram. In velocity diagram, I am going to consider 1 cm as one centimeter as 0 0.1 meter per second because we have 0 0.5 no we can't draw 0 0.5 centimeter that will be very small so I am going to consider 1 centimeter as 0 0.1 meter per second here I have 0 0.5 meter per second so I have to draw 5 centimeter line because 0 0.1 means 1 centimeter 0 0.5 means 5 centimeter so draw 5 centimeter line draw 5 centimeter line okay well. draw 5 centimeter line from here to here so 
So draw 5 cm line from A to B. Okay, it should be this line is perpendicular to this line is perpendicular to AB. This AB is perpendicular to this AB. Okay, don't forget for all the links we are going to draw the perf perpendicular line only. Fixed line it will be on the same point. AD it will be on the same point. Remaining lines it should be perpendicular to their respective link. If I am going to draw AB means it should be perpendicular to this AB. And direction since it is since it is clockwise okay and it is it's like going in the downward direction. So I am going to draw this line in the downward direction. Okay. Since this arrow it look like in the downward direction. So I am going to draw this line in the downward direction. Downward direction like this. Okay. Downward direction. Okay. Like this. And it should be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means 1 centimeter equal to 0 0.1 meter per second. So 0 0.5 means 0 5 centimeter. 5 centimeter line. Draw 5 centimeter line in the downward direction. So I have drawn AB. After drawing this, keep your scale perpendicular to this this line. Okay. Perpendicular to this line. Perpen and you are going to draw this line here. You are going to draw this perpendicular line here. We don't know the dimension. Just draw perpendicular line above and below B. Like this. Just draw perpendicular line to BC from B above B below B. Okay. After drawing this, next line. Next line is CD. Okay. You are going to draw perpendicular line to CD. Perpendicular line to CD from point D. Where is point D? Here is point D. A and D is same point. So from D draw a perpendicular line. It will be like above D and below D. But this AD line and BC line are intersecting at this point. So this is C. Erase remaining lines. Erase the remaining lines. Erase the remaining lines. So now velocity diagram is over. Now velocity diagram is over. Okay. Now velocity diagram is over. So what they have asked, they have asked us to find the angular velocity of C D. Here C D is the velocity. Okay, well, here C D is the velocity. We have to find out angular velocity. Now what you have to do means you have to measure this line length. Okay, yeah. you have to measure this line length. Okay, measure this line length. Um, uh, I got around uh, uh, 3.8. Okay, I got around V C D. 3.8 centimeter. But what is the scale? Scale is 0 0.1. So multiply it with 0 0.1. So, velocity of CD is 0 0.38 meter per second. 0 0.38 meter per second. What we have to find out? We have to find out angular velocity. We have to find out angular velocity. We know velocity, velocity equal to angular velocity into distance. So, angular velocity equal to velocity divided by distance. So, velocity is 0 0.38 meter per second. Angular sorry, uh, velocity is 0 0.38. CD length. CD length is from the question. Take it from the question, not from the space diagram. Take it from the question. CD length is 80 mm. Here, this is in meter per second. So, 80 mm means 0 0.08 meter. 80 mm means 0 0.08 meter. So, now the answer is 4.8 radian per second. 
okay i hope all of you understood i will repeat the problem once okay i will repeat the problem once let me erase it first you read the question read the question based on the given uh, details based on the given details first you draw the space diagram first you draw the space diagram this is space diagram okay first you draw this space diagram according to the dimension draw this space diagram after drawing space diagram we have to find out the velocity of the link ab for that we have to find out the angular velocity angular velocity of ab equal to 2 pi n by 60 2 into pi into 120 120 is a speed given okay 120 divided by 60 so angular velocity is 12.568 so we got angular velocity now we need velocity velocity equal to angular velocity into distance angular velocity into distance of ab okay this link length angular velocity into distance of ab we got 0.503 meter per second as answer so we have to draw velocity diagram now so for drawing velocity diagram i am going to scale it for example 1 cm equal to 0.1 meter per second like that i am going to keep okay va first mark first mark point ad a comma d all the fixed points a d has to be marked in one place and you have to mark everything in small letter okay va so i have chosen a point and at that point i have marked a comma d okay from a we can draw ab here also from a we can draw ab but this ab should be perpendicular to the space diagram this ab should be perpendicular to the space diagram so draw a line which is perpendicular to a uh, space diagram ab it should be perpendicular okay and this arrow marking is in downward direction so draw the line in, in downward direction dimension 0.5 meter per second okay so 0.5 0.5 meter i have scaled it like 5 cm 0.5 will be equal to 5 5 cm line draw here okay after drawing ab from b what is going from b bc is there so draw a perpendicular line to bc like this okay i don't know the length just draw the perpendicular line to bc i have drawn a perpendicular line to bc just to draw a perpendicular line after that from d we can draw dc and you have to draw a perpendicular line so from d i have drawn a perpendicular line to dc okay va wow. i have drawn a perpendicular line to dc dc line bc line meet at point c so velocity diagram is over velocity diagram is over now what we have to find out we have to find out the angular velocity of cd we have to find out the angular velocity of cd so this line is velocity angular velocity is velocity divided by link length so we will get angular velocity okay this is how we have to draw this uh, relative velocity diagram okay Ma. in the next class we will solve one more problem.